Konnichiwa is hello in Japanese. My name is Kawada Mihoko. Mihoko is my given name. I live in Tokyo, the capital city of Japan. Do you know where Japan is? There are three countries, A, B, C. Which one is Japan? C. A is your country, India. Japan is an island country. It has four big islands. Do you know anything about Japanese culture? Anime, manga, origami, haiku, folk tales, tea ceremony, and so on. I'm wearing a traditional Japanese clothes, kimono. You want to make friends in the world? Introducing own culture is one good way to make friends in the world. I have shared a variety of Japanese culture with a lot of non-Japanese people. Storytelling is one of them. What stories of your country would you like to introduce? Choose your favorite one and perform as you like. It's interesting to think about the way how to show it, respect and learn about your culture, and share your culture with other countries people. The activity will greatly expand your enjoyable world. Thank you for watching my video. Thank you is arigato in Japanese. Once upon a time, there lived a young man named Urashima Taro. Taro made a living by catching fish in the sea. He lived in a small village near the beach with his mother. They are poor, but they had happy days together. One day, when Taro was walking on the beach, he saw the three children playing something. However, when he approached, he found they were actually teasing a small turtle with sticks. Don't do that. Let the turtle go. Taro told the children. No way. It's our turtle. We can do whatever we want. In that case, how about selling this turtle to me? Taro showed some money to the children. Okay, that's a deal. The children very glad. They set the turtle free and run away. Don't come back to this beach again. Taro said to the turtle and put it back in the sea. The turtle looked back again and again and disappeared into the water. Several weeks later, Taro was walking on the beach. Taro! Taro! He heard someone calling his name. He looked around, but nobody was there. Taro! I'm here! The voice came from the sea. It was a turtle showing its head above the water. Do you remember me? You saved my life the other day. Oh, I remember you. Hey, what a surprise! You are speaking! Yes, I'm the special turtle coming from the Dragon Palace. The Dragon Palace? I want you to see the bottom of the ocean. I know, so... I'll take you to the Dragon Palace as my special guest. Get on my back. How wonderful! But the Dragon Palace must be very far. 
I can not leave my mother alone for a long time. Don't worry, you can come back very soon. So hurry and ride on my back. All of a sudden, the turtle became big enough for Taro to ride on. For Taro, it was his long time dream to visit the Dragon Palace and he didn't want to miss this opportunity. He accepted the invitation from the turtle. Taro, close your eyes. Now we'll go down into the sea. Taro closed his eyes tight and he felt he was going down, down in the water at high speed and finally they arrived at the bottom of the ocean. A splendid palace was there and the turtle entered the building with Taro on its back. Here we are. Taro, you can open your eyes. Taro opened his eyes. To his surprise, he found a beautiful young lady standing beside him. I'm Princess Otto. When I go up to your land, I change myself into the turtle. You saved my life when the children almost killed me. To show my thanks, I'd like to entertain you here in my palace. Please stay here as long as you want. The life in the Dragon Palace was like a dream for Taro. An octopus showed its performance. Various fishes showed their dancing one after another. At each meal, fishes brought lots of food and drinks Taro had never tasted before. Everything was delicious. Taro enjoyed every minute. He forgot the time passing by. He didn't even think of his mother at all. One day, Princess Otto took Taro to the colorful big doors. They are special doors. Behind these doors, you will see the four seasons of your country. In my sea world, we don't have any seasons, but I know Japan has four beautiful seasons. Now, we'll get in spring, then we'll visit summer, fall, and winter.
when they came out of the last season. Taro was quiet. Taro, what's up? You look sad. My mother doesn't know I'm here. She must be worried about me. I have to go home. Although Princess Otto asked Taro to stay longer over and over again, he didn't change his mind. Finally, the princess said, Okay, now I know your decision is strong. I'll take you back to your land. In memory of staying here, I'll give you this special box. The princess shows Taro a beautiful two-layered box. This is a magical box. When you return to your land, the things around you might confuse you. In that case, if you open this box, you'll find out what actually happened to you. But remember, if you open this box, you cannot come back to the Dragon Palace anymore. So, it's your choice. Then, the princess changed herself into a turtle. Taro came back to the beach of his village. Goodbye, Taro. Remember, you can visit the Dragon Palace as long as you don't open the box. After saying that, the turtle disappeared in the sea. Taro started running to his house. However, what he found was not his house, but an empty field of wild flowers. I'm sure it's my village, but why? Everything looks so different. Where is my house? Where is my mother? He was at a loss. Just then, he saw an old man coming up to him. Excuse me, where is the house of Urashima Taro? It must be around here. The old man looked surprised to hear that. Urashima Taro? Did you say that? When I was a child, my grandfather often told me the mysterious story about a young man by that name. A fisherman named Urashima Taro disappeared on the beach all of a sudden one day, and the village people believed he had gone to the Dragon Palace. It happened more than 100 years ago. I don't know where his house used to be, saying that he went away. More than 100 years ago? Taro believed he had stayed in the Dragon Palace just for several days. He went to the beach. He was confused. Then he remembered the word of Princess Otto. I'll open this box. With trembling hands, he took the top cover of the box. White smoke came up from inside. He had a strange feeling. The next moment, Taro became a wrinkled old man with white hair and beard. He took the second cover of the box. And the smoke came out and he found himself moving up into the sky. Taro changed into a crane. Flying up in the air, he looked down and noticed a turtle showing up his head above the sea. The end. I hope you enjoyed this story. When I read this story in my childhood, I wondered if there might be some places around the universe where time passes differently in speed compared with the Earth. The story stimulated my imagination. How did the story make you feel? There are my other videos. I hope you'll find what you like. Thank you for watching.